Okay, so today we're going to be changing a SMC on a MacBook unibody, old machine, but people still want them, they're still very popular, especially when new Macs cost you over a thousand quid. Um, SMC is a big part of the machine, it's what talks to everything, makes everything work without it. And you can't just go into your old Maplings and buy an SMC, you need a donor board. So we've got a donor board, so we're going to kick off straight away by removing it and uh, again it moved over on the new board. So, okay, to start with, we are going to need some flux. Get a bit of flux going on there. That's what we need, some flux all around the chip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to heat it. We're going to heat that chip. And um, everybody's got their uh, own way of heating it. Some people like to heat it really quickly. Some people like to take their time. I like to heat it really quickly. Um, get it off as, uh, as quickly as possible, that way it, um, you don't damage any components around it. It's not so important with a donor board, um, just purely because um, it's a donor board. Um, so yeah, get this off, get nice and hot. What you're looking for is you're looking for the flux to sort of dissipate away from the chip and uh, then you're, uh, you're ready, to, ready to move it. I like to warm it up a little bit first and not go straight in for the kill too much. Looking for it to dance a little bit, have a little more wiggle, a bit of a wiggle, and then we know it's uh, it's ready to go. We're ready to move it. Come on, there we go. Oh, blown away. Blown away. Pads. In this moment, we're just going to get a bit of alcohol. We're going to stick a bit of alcohol on there. We're going to clean them up. We're going to clean them up all nicely, and then we're going to we're going to wick them down. We'll just get a clean room wipe. We'll just wipe that. Wipe those pads over first. Nice clean surface is what we need. Nice clean surface. With some nice shiny solder to go down onto there shortly but we're gonna I'm just gonna give it a quick wicking we'll wick it off Put some flux down just wait for the temperature to get right Good. Give it a quick clean again. Wick it off. We are good. We are good. Ready for the next phase. Okay, so we've got our SMC. Um, it's going to put a little bit of flux on there. Nice little bit of flux. And then we're going to get our, get our template. First, we'll give it a wicking. Get all that old solder off there. Some nice shiny pads, ready for some nice new shiny solder balls. 
Lovely. Looking good. Looking good. Give it clean again. Bit of alcohol. Sorry if the sound isn't great, so we've got a new microphone for in here, so we've got that, so just a sort of test run today on this. See what the cameras work like. Okay, we've got a template. It's got a template. All measured up. You're probably, probably wondering sort of how sort of big this actually is. This chip, it's about a quarter of the size of a five pence piece. So it is very, very small. Very, very small indeed. Getting it all lined up just right, that's the that's the thing. Get it all lined up. It looks easy under a microscope when you're seeing it. You see it in real life and just looking down at it. It's, it's not easy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to use some flux. Uh, flux. We're going to use some solar paste and um, we're, going to, we're going to smear that all over there like, like your margarine in the morning um, over the template. And um, let's get away with the bits. I always find the bits I need. So many bits that you need to be using to doing doing it with. Awesome. Come on. Here we go. I'm going to use my putty knife. This is just a standard putty knife, nothing special. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bit of pressure on here. And then we're going to smear it around. Not a great deal you want to put on the putty knife. Just enough. Less is more. You can always, you can always come back and get a little bit more if you need it. Otherwise you end up with big globules everywhere, which can be a bit of a nightmare. But hey, it's all part of the job. You've got to have patience for this. This is this is all about patience. This is not sort of a rush thing you can do really quickly. So if you've got no patience, this is not for you. I don't know how I do it. My patience isn't that great. I seem to be all right with this. Okay, move around a bit. Get a bit more over here. Just going to get it in all the little holes. Once we've got this in the hole, we'll try and get rid of this a little bit, try and clean it up a little. Usually once it's um, gotten into the holes properly, you, can, you don't need to put so much pressure on this. It's quite stable by that point. You just have to be relatively gentle with it. When you mess it up, it's a real ball like trying to sort it out. And we're getting there. Thank 
clean around it. So this is going to melt, so I'll try and get rid of it as much as we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it now, we're going to cook it, um, not as high as usual. Uh, we're going to set to about 60 on the air pressure and about 350. And we want to see them slowly turn, slowly turn, not too quickly. There we go. There we go, look at those lovely balls. Some lovely silver balls. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's set for a few seconds. Okay, okay we're going to try and separate it now. You've got to be a little bit careful doing this. A little bit careful. Doesn't want to play. Come on, play nicely. Off you get. See, you don't want to put too much pressure on it. You don't want to rip the solder balls off the pad. Come on. Once we do get it off, we're gonna. Just gonna give those a quick whippy again under the free replay meter. Okay. Okay, let's get a bit of flux on then. Okay. Heat those up again. So nice. We've got one ball missing there, but we can, we can do that. We've got some solar, solar balls that we can do that with. So basically in the next video we'll, we'll stick it back on there and um, we'll see how we get on with it. So that's the first video, that's our test run with the new software. Um, yeah, a bit of an insight there for people that don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, U4900 chip on SMC. Stay tuned, there's lots of videos that are going to be coming your way soon. This is just a practice run today really with the new software. See how it all works, see how it all comes together. And um, yeah, 